Hello and welcome to Matt Loves Eurovision. It's my Eurovision 2023 Top 37 Countdown. It's place number 21, Latvia, Sudden Lights with Aisha. Please do click on the subscribe button, ring that notification bell and like, share and comment below. So this is the second of the Baltic countries to be in my countdown. And it's the one that's really struggled to qualify the most in recent years. Um, Latvia haven't qualified for the grand final since 2016. And indeed, they've only qualified twice for the grand final since 2008. Um, so they, hope, they will be hoping that the well-established sort of indie uh, alternative rock band Sudden Lights will be able to finally steer them back to uh, the grand final. Now, Sudden Lights won the Latvian national final, Supernova, pretty convincingly. Uh, they won both the jury vote and they won uh, the public votes as well. They've been around quite a few years. They formed in 2012, didn't release their first album until 2017, but have subsequently had uh, uh, further two albums after that. Uh, they've done tours uh, in Latvia and they've actually have got some connection with the Eurovision uh, to an extent is because they had entered the national final Supernova uh, in 2018 uh, where they finished second so they've come quite close before. Um, Aisha, their song that did win Supernova, it's a, an art uh, rock uh, or an indie rock song. It's reminiscent of British indie pop uh, to my ears anyway. Um, it's neither slow nor fast um, but there is a kind of a change progression within the song, so it's not just a kind of a purely uh, linear a linear progression, or as, as some uh, Eurovision songs are. It's not, however, one of these ones that's got several songs melded into one. It's kind of, it's very much the same song, but just that there's something a bit more interesting about it as it goes through the song. Um, this was a bit of a slow burner on my own radar for quite a while. I hadn't watched the national final, I admit. I don't even know whether it was the favourite to win the national final. Um, and, and I kind of, I suppose on the initial list, it was like, oh yes, indeed, you know. Um, but as time went on, I actually took time to watch the video and and, and listen to it more. It's, I've grown to like it a lot more. Um, it's not a, a very in-your-face type entry. Uh, and certainly uh, some of Latvia's recent songs have been very, very in-your-face, uh, very in-your-face entries. I think it's quite classy. And there's a, I know there is, a, as I said, this kind of familiarity or callback to perhaps the British music scene. Um, it's definitely quite refreshing from a Eurovision perspective. It's not, although we've got a few bands in the um, uh, in the contest this year, it's not a, a genre uh, or a sort of type of song that we necessarily see so much at the contest, or not to date. Maybe we'll see more of it. Um, Aisha means uh, lullaby, and there's a certain, and that lullaby is used uh, in the lyrics within the song. And it seems quite appropriate because this, this song does draw, does draw you in. Um, and we also do get a bit of Latvian in the song, which I'm pleased to, to, uh, to see. It's only, it's a small part, it's not like a big bit of the song, but it's that just little connection with the country uh, that this song is coming from. So quite apart from uh, Latvia's appalling qualification record, um, Southern Lights do have a multiple challenges uh, to qualify. They are in the super competitive semi-final one. They're in the first half of that semi-final and getting televotes for first half songs is always more difficult than getting televotes for second half songs. They are fourth in the running order, which is again is not an ideal place. It's not one of the better, in fact, it's one of the worst uh, uh, running order places in terms of qualification to the, to the grand final. And they have really no televote allies. I mean, it's difficult to tell because their, their, their televote has been so poor um, in recent years um, with their songs that it's difficult to tell, but they don't really have any natural voting allies. They've got none of their neighbours or any of their cultural partners. None of that is in this, uh, are in this um, semi-final. But there does seem, um, there is hope. There does seem to be a sort of a dedicated fan base to this. Um, they've been, they are in the top 20 of the Eurovision scoreboard app and have remained resolutely there. Uh, if you look at just the semi-final one um, kind of vote for the semi for the in the Eurovision app, they are admittedly in 10th place, uh, but they are in that top 10. So I think with some of the doubts that are arising over some of those other semi-final songs, um, semi-final one songs that we thought were definite qualifiers, 
um, you know, from various because of pre parties or etc. I think actually you're starting to see uh, there might be a chance for Latvia to qualify. In fact, it might be one of their best chances to qualify they've had uh, for some time. And uh, quite frankly, I think this would uh, would be a good addition to the grand final. Um, and if they did get there, I don't know how they would do. I suspect this would do pretty, might do something with the cherries. Uh, I think they would quite like this, but they do have to get there. But I wish them, I wish them well in doing so. And join me as we approach the top 20. Take care.